Welcome back to AP Precalculus in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. My friends, I'd like to preface this video by already apologizing for the content in this video. But I just need to get going. So we already know the reciprocal identities from last video. Now we need to add another set of identities known as the Pythagorean identities. All of these identities can be used to prove an identity true. When you see an identity like this and it asks you to rewrite it, in this case in terms of tangent, let me show you how you do it. Also this question was taken from the 2024 AP exam. So the truth is, there is no right answer on what to do. You could do things completely different from me and get the same exact answer. I'll just show you how I'd do it. So first, I want to try and simplify each term. In the numerator, we have 1 minus sine squared of x. But here's the thing, we know sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x is equal to 1. So if we rearrange this, we know 1 minus sine squared of x is equal to cosine squared of x. From the reciprocal identities, we know secant is equal to 1 over cosine. Now we can multiply the two fractions together. We are able to cross out the cosine on the bottom and the square root on the top, and that leaves us with cosine of x over sine of x, which is equal to cotangent of x. But we need to simplify it in terms of tangent as the question asked, so we know cotangent of x is equal to 1 over tangent of x, so this is our final answer. A trig identity like this is guaranteed to show up on your exam, so at the end of this video there is a handful of them for you to try. But wait, there are more identities to talk about. My friends, we have something called sum and difference identities. There are also quite a bit of them, but for this course you only need to know the sum identity for cosine and sine, and none of the other ones. You also need to memorize these double angle identities. So that means in total you need to memorize this screen of identities for this exam. And if you're wondering, this is why people say pre-calculus is harder than calculus. But I know you guys are lazy, so I'll just say as someone who took this exam, these ones don't really matter, but definitely know these. Really quick, let me show you how to use the sum identities. If you had an expression like sine of 75 degrees, we can rewrite this as sine of 45 degrees plus 30 degrees. And using the identity we can plug it into it, then simplify, and we get our fully simplified answer answer. And as for the double angle identities, they really aren't that important. Here's some questions to try if you really care about them so much, and here are the answers, but I wouldn't really care too much for them. Alright my friends, here's your full identity screen again. Memorize it. Good? Good. Now here's your questions for the topic. Pause now. I'll put the answers up now. And I will see you in the next one. And to put a voiceover over this ending, please consider becoming a channel member. Okay, I'm sorry, bye.